Okay, for our week one discussion, you are being asked to take a look at the real estate data and compute the mean, median, mode, and standard deviation of the selling price and square feet. So this is our data set, and our selling price is here, and the square feet is here. Now we can compute mean, median, mode, and standard deviation fairly simple. So let me go ahead and write these down for you. Okay. Now the idea is we wanna have this for both the selling price and the square feet. All right, here we go. So the mean, what we're gonna do is take a look at all of this information here. Now you can simply use this function bar and I highly recommend this. Click on that button and then type in the word mean. Mean also means average. So click on the one that says average and we're gonna do the average price of all of these. almost there here we go and hit okay all right now what we did just as a recap here um, I'll do it with the square feet is we went up here to the function tab we put in average or mean and then we highlighted all the data now another way to do that is to just come up here um, to the top of your column you'll get that arrow and select that and hit okay there you go. So that's our square feet, and this is our selling price. Now our selling price should have a, um, a dollar sign, so we'll go ahead and put a dollar sign there, okay? And then our square feet, let's go ahead and round that to the nearest foot. There we go. Now we wanna do the same thing with median, so click on your function bar and hit median. There it is. Okay, so again, we can just highlight all the numbers if we want to. Takes a little bit longer, but that's one way to do it and hit enter. And then for the square feet, if we do the same thing, we look at median. And this time, let's just click the entire column and hit okay. And there we go. Now for mode, you can do the same thing. So you type in mode, there's your function. And this time we're gonna select the entire column A and there's our mode. Remember these two are dollar signs. And then for the median, or rather for the mode for our square feet, let's do it with mode. select the entire column and hit okay. All right, now standard deviation is a little bit different. We're gonna still hit the function bar and type in standard deviation. And you'll notice nothing comes up. Um, this one is a little bit tricky. You have to put in STD and then you have several options. So STDEV and STDEVA are typically the same one, but we're gonna try each one. So this time we'll do STDEV um, for the selling price. Okay, now just for fun, so that was STDEV. Let's do STDEVA so you can see the difference. If I can type it right, STDEVA. There we go. And we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so notice it's a little bit different. Um, for this assignment, let's use the STDEV instead of the STDEVA, okay? There we go. And that too is a dollar sign. What that means is that if you have a bell-shaped curve, the standard deviation means that the price of the house could fall um, to the right or the left by this amount, the $47,105.40. Now let's do the same thing with the standard deviation for square feet. 
and we will highlight the entire column. Okay, and then with this one, I'd like to bump it down again, just round it up, makes it look a little bit nicer. Okay, and kind of give your uh, table a nice look there. So in your week um, two discussion, it says find the mean, median, mode, and standard deviation of the selling price in square feet. Write a brief summary explaining the price in square feet distributions of the area of homes. Also include a biblical application here. So if we wanted to take this a step further and maybe look at the selling price um, in a graph, because that's what our biblical application is asking you about. If we're using a graph or a table, um, how would we use that in such a way that honoring God? And let's go up here to insert a recommended chart. And maybe we'll look at, oh, maybe we'll just look at this histogram here. So this lets us see that housing prices were starting around 125,000. They went up over 335,000, but for the most part, they were 160,000. Now let's just take a look at this to see, and I would always retitle your chart here so that it makes sense, housing prices, um, or maybe we wanna say selling prices, so it's the same, okay. Um, maybe we want to take a look just to make sure. I always like to second, second guess myself and, and double check my data. So I'm using a filter. I did that by going up here to the data in your toolbar, hit filter. Now you can see the housing prices do start at 125000 and they do go to 345300 and that kind of makes sense then if our average is about 221,000. So that's falling somewhere here in the middle um, with all of these houses. So that does make sense. Now, if I said that the, um, the, how, the range of houses was 125,000 to 345,300, that would be accurate as well. Um, and you could look at that by basically doing the minimum and the maximum. And there's also a formula for that. Clearly you could have just looked on the filter like we did, but I'll show you a formula just in case you're curious. So here's the formula to see what's the minimum number and then what's the maximum number. And that would basically give you your range of housing prices. Okay, all right. So that in a nutshell, lets you see housing prices we did bin. Uh, minimum, maximum, we also did mean, median, mode, and standard deviation, and a histogram. All right, so I think you are ready for a week two discussion.